Hello everyone, Sam is here and welcome back. So in the last video we made it through the crash site and we have arrived at the Dragon Knight station and we need to talk to Crow. Taken on a great no, Where could they have taken out. the princess? The Highlands? Parna's ghost? Bah! We'll concern ourselves with that later. For now we need to get free of this place. Things aren't perfect here. We're taking heavy fire from those ballistae in the Bragan War Camp. Help the people here while I work on securing a path out of the forest. The path that conveniently already exists. Just saying. You should have received a recall stone from Tortoise. Do you know how to use it? Set a recall location at a transit shrine so you can use the recall stone to return there. Pay extra attention to the world shrines since they can help you move between regions as well. There's a world shrine nearby so I suggest you have a look at it before you go. Set this transit shrine as your recall location. You can walk back here anytime. Oh, I forgot to put that in my bar. I like to keep this here just in case I need to go somewhere quickly. I usually have it there. So this is really handy. You can teleport from anywhere in the world using your recall stone to go back to wherever whatever shrine you set it at. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's talk to Crow again. There's a lot of back and forth. Remember to save new recall locations when you arrive in a new region. A knight is nothing without a strong familiar. Whether you're fighting from its back or by its side, you'll want a powerful companion to accompany you on your journey. Find Lodia. She was sent from Hakane's Crossing to study the wildlife here, and she can teach you how to tame your own familiar. I'm asking you to assist me. I know, and I'm going to. So this is the main draw of this game, is that you can tame and ride mounts of many different varieties. So let's go ahead and do this. To be honest, this is the main reason why I wanted to play this game, and it's been pretty fun so far. I'll make sure you know how to tame a familiar, even if it kills you. Sure, we don't have any of the comforts of the city out here, but I'm happy to rough it a little if it means getting to study all the unique familiars of the forest. You're one of the soldiers from the big crash. I'm Ludia from the academy at Hakeen's Crossing. Charmed, I'm sure. You're in luck. A herd of Bracarical aunts happens to be grazing nearby. A heroic knight riding into battle on a beautiful unicorn. Isn't that simply perfect? I'll show you how it's done, and then you can give it a try. Well, I guess I ought to show you how to tame a familiar. First tip, select a target and sneak up on him if you can. It's easier that way. Keep low and move in fast. Once you jump on, you'll only have a few seconds to form a bond. It's going to fight back, so you have to fight harder. And that's it. Once it's under your spell, it'll never strike. Wish I could say the same about my boyfriend. Ah, you're funny. But not really. Okay, let's see if you can tame one of your own. Just remember, see what the animal needs. So the taming in this game is basically a mini game. And you have two, 10 minutes to tame a Rakar Galant. Alright, first we need to put the skill on our bar. Alright. So I'm going to make another disclaimer here. These beginning Bracar Galants are for some reason really buggy and it's actually kind of difficult to tame them sometimes. So let's go ahead and see. So this is what you do. You sneak up behind it. Jump on it. That was the wrong button. I'm trying to. Alright. So, yeah. 
It's actually easier to tame normal animals. For some reason, it's just the tutorial ones that are this bad. So let's go ahead and try that again with a different one. again. There's a reason why this quest needs 10 minutes. I promise it's not actually this stupid all the time. Oh, and then the horse moves right when you are ready. I wonder what happens if you run out of taming points before you tame one of these. The only thing with this is that there is RNG involved. Yay! Well, that's not terrible. That only took us three tries. Technically four. So yeah, that's my recommendation. If you have a hard time with it, just don't keep trying to tame the same one. They can be a little bit buggy. Just keep different ones until you find one that's actually... There's also... A rumor that lowering their HP may help. Um, but I've noticed that it's not too bad. So you'll notice if you look at my hotbars, there's really not a lot you can do with your mount in the beginning. Later on, you'll be able to do mounted combat and all that fun stuff. It does take a while to get to that point. So let's go ahead and talk to Crow. It looks like you were successful. I'm sure you'll find bigger and better familiars in no time. So this is something of a story loophole. Because in the cutscene two videos ago, we were flying a Pegasus with no problems. And now we're back to taming like these beginning horses for some reason. So, I don't know what that's about. Aside from the obvious that it's a artificial limitation, which kind of annoys me. I've been looking into ways to escape this force. Instead, I found something troubling. A group of rogue sorcerers who worship the demon Kabim have sealed off all routes to Hakane's Crossing. The blacksmith here, Culligan, seems to know something. He's not exactly beast. friendly, but we must convince him to help us. Do whatever it takes to find out what Culligan knows. get back to Hakanis without breaking that barrier. Talk to Cullen. That's a very weird spelling of Cullen. What do you want? Damn, Bragin stole my hammer. Sure, I've got a spare, but it's my hammer. It's special. I've had that thing since I was a baby. Are you also a dwarf? You hear about those Kabimist barriers? Why should I help you lot? First thing I'm gonna need is my lucky hammer, and the only way to get that back is to beat the Bragin chieftain. Be sure to have it locked away somewhere in their war camp. You bring that back, I'll help you. What do they want with my hammer anyway? Blah, blah, blah. Eat as much as you want. I know the situation is bad, but at least we have good food to eat. Would you like some? It's all very reasonably priced, I assure you. Could you lend me a hand? I need some materials to make a bag. Go to the Bragging War Camp up north, kill some of their miners, and bring any leather straps you can find. See, fetch some leather straps from the Bragging Miners, and I'll make you a bag. I did mention the bad voice acting, right? These woods were sacred once. Look, it's an elf. This is kind of a pet peeve. They have elves in the game, but you can't play as one because the story is doesn't really have like any origin stories, to borrow a, a term from Dragon Age. I assist the Dragonites in these wild places of the world. The Bragains of Parkour Forest turn their minds to greedy, violent thoughts. They destroy the forest, kill the wildlife, and squander all the blessings the gods have given us. I fight the Bragain to protect these things. This forest is occupied by a vicious tribe of Bragines. They're chopping down our trees left and right. Will you help me? Go to the Bragine outpost and teach their warriors May a lesson. Bragin have brought this upon themselves. I want to see what this has to say. The elves were the first of the three races of the lore created. In fact, the word elf is derived from the lore's name. 
This is why we are among our most important leadership is. Allura May Allura's Elders. blessing be with you. Makes no sense. You've taken on a great burden. Uh, this smell will never come out. Your shield cannot protect the princess, but in time it will become a bulwark against all evil. Blocking with your shield can be followed with devastating counterattacks while the enemy is off balance. The dragon knights are struggling against the merciless bragging assault. Bragging combat troopers are breaking down their ranks. Engage these foul creatures, block their attacks, and then counter with a shield smite to put them down for good. Put that shield to use and counterattack when they're off guard. Many of the soldiers lost their lives trying to cut a path for our escape. The truth is, they simply do not have enough soldiers to face these Bragin head-on. Go meet up with the Dragon Knight commander and see if he can help us. He has a soft spot for new faces. Let's see if you can make a difference. Okay. Paolo Roman. The Dragon Knights know neither defeat nor surrender. The Bergenians have been firing their siege weapons at our camp nonstop. We can hold the line, but it's difficult for us to close in and do something about their weapons. If you help us, we'll help you. No, we'll never get out. Damn are the ones who put down that Sky Titan you were on. They're also the ones keeping us pinned down with their ballista fire. We'll be a little surprised for the fiery monsters. Kalgan whipped up a bomb out of those explosives you brought. Take a few up to their war camp and put an end to their ballista. I don't know where those Brogans got their weapons. But they've got us pinned down on open ground. We'll never win this fight. As long as the sky is raining hell on us. I need someone to get behind their lines and take them out. Understood? Yeah, we're not really playing this game for the story. Which is somewhat disappointing. I am really a fan of games with strong stories. But I will work with what I've got if I like the game. Let's go ahead and go do some damage to things. And let's see, sir, rolling the dragon knight. Hold the line. Get down! Do you want to take a ballista boat to the head? The Vikings realized that they couldn't take us in a fair fight, so they've been raining siege fire on us non-stop. If this doesn't stop soon, we'll have to fall back. And there's nowhere for us to fall back to. You could try that massive hole in the trees where we just fell out of the sky. The Vikings are organized much like any other tribe. They've got a host, whole host of underlings working for their chieftain. Usually I'd recommend going right for the leader, but there are just too many followers in the way. Maybe it's time we thinned out their ranks a bit. We have to break the Brigade defenses. If you insist. Alright, so let's go ahead and do some damage. Use shield smite. So yes, you can actually use it twice on the same one to get the achievement, or quest, or whatever. Oh my god, this is what I hate so much about this. Tab targeting. Coppers! Coppers! We're rolling now! Alright. So, let's see... Run a brigade... It said... That I actually completed that one. I just have to do it again, I guess. But first, we need these leather straps. Alright, so that finishes that one. Fighting fighter.
this one to beat, defeat the bragging fighter. <laughs> I pretty much never use auto attacks, which is why I took the auto attack toggle off my bar. Oops. didn't mean to hit both of them at the same time. But since we have to heal up a little bit, let's go and turn in those two quests and then come back and do the other ones. As you do um, regen on your own, it's a very slow process. You can also use bandages, we did get those from a quest. Private Curtis has a panther. Go ahead and... The only thing about mounts is that, um, especially these low level ones, they have pretty low stamina. So you can't go very far. Eat as much as you want. This is more than enough level leather. Since I've got a little extra, I'll make you a bag. So this is an awesome thing to have because ta -da, extra thing of items. You get these through the story, there are several different ones. Which is good because storage space is a continual issue. Creatures, pigs. Defense is truly the best offense for guardians. All attacks are more powerful after blocking. Must get this message to King. Right, so those were the only two that we could turn in. So let's go ahead and go back. And we should be... All healed up by the time we get there. Yep, we're just walking right into this camp and nobody cares. Not one bit. That's one ballista down. Let's defeat this guy while we're at it. Another one down. And Blista. It respawns, so let's just kill this one again. I love how we have perfect aim. Despite the fact that we're not a ranged class. Kill this guy. And these guys. Okay, 
Wait, do I even have any pox? Yes, I do. Alright, so we're gonna move that over there. And that one over there. Fix these a little bit. Oh. While this guy kills the overseer. I'm just gonna be sitting here fixing my bar. So this is the only thing, um, it's extremely rude to steal people's kills, so we're not gonna steal their kill. We are going to patiently wait until they either die or kill this thing. That looks like they'll probably win. They seem like they know what they're doing. We're gonna go ahead and kill him. While we'll wait for the overseer to respawn. That guy healed me, in which case, thanks, bro. You saved me a little bit of time. Now I just have to wait. I think he was a priest. Are you a priest? Wizard. Well, I guess you didn't heal me. Wait. No, wait. Maybe you did. One of you is a priest. Come on, bro, respawn. Oh. Come on, I hate it when my skills don't rock. Definitely pressing the button. Like it is not procking the way it's supposed to. Eh. because I was stuck in a different skill. Didn't really expect to be using potions right there, but that's okay. Alright, so now we can go get the treasure. Assuming we can dodge all these guys. Who apparently can't see three feet in front of their faces. But there we go, we've got Gulligan's hammer. I could use to recall stone, but I'm not actually done with this area. Get out of here, bro. We'll run back over here until he stops chasing us. And we have to get by these guys anyway, so we might as well. a little bit. Uh, where's 
with my bandages. Those should probably be over here somewhere. all of them so let's go ahead and get out of here come on horsey Bragging won't be such a hassle. Defend Thanks. the camp. No problem, bro. And let's turn in these optional ones first. The Dragon Knights know neither defeat nor surrender. Ah, I heard that explosion from here. Well done. Now those blasted ballista attacks should be on the decline. Fight. Yay. Yay. These woods were safe. When we retake Prakara Forest, I swear I will repay you. Allura bless May Allura's blessing be with you. Oh, that reminds me. We can actually equip our good gear now. And by good, I mean slightly better. Alright. What do you want? Haha, <laughs> that's the old metal pounder. I love this thing more than my wife. Thank you kindly. Okay. What is this game rated again? If you want to break through the Kabimius barrier, you're going to need two things. An ancient hammer and eloquence for ages. <coughs> Chisel. Crow will know how to get them. Without those relics, we'll never get out of this ruin-touched forest. How do you know that Crow knows where to get them? That's what I want to know. Like, are you guys suddenly the best of friends? Don't worry about the princess. Disgusting creatures. Thanks. I knew Culligan would have the answer. We'll begin with the hammer. You'll find it in the southern ruins. Hurry to the ruins north of here. Sir Roman sent his lieutenant there to scout the area. I will be along shortly. Show the lieutenant this letter and he will help you. The ghost that haunts the southern ruins will have the hammer we need. Okay. This will be exciting. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, we are going to be moving on to the next camp in the next video. I think. Well, we'll see. I might do a little bit of taming next to fill up our bestiary a little bit while we're here. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode.